Hey guys, it's me, Vaxxed, and welcome to Hand of Fate. I bought this game a while ago when it came out, and I've just neglected to play it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to sit down and we're going to play Hand of Fate for a little bit. So I'm assuming that the story, if you call it one, is that you have died and gone through the 13 circles of hell. Are there 13? It's supposed to be like 9. Anyway. 13 circles of hell, 13 circles of life, something like that. And this is supposed to be the personification of death, maybe? The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Okay. Here is the first member of my court. The Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Mm. Alright, so the enemy still goal on hit. I will be narrating the flavor text. In the ruins of an ancient temple, among the eternally shifting sand dunes, lives the mysterious leader of the desert bandits, infamous for his reign of terror over any spice caravans that bear take their, that dare take their chances traveling through his domain. He rules as a king over the barren lands. So how does this game work? All right, so he. Using his magic hands, dealing out cards here. Is that my deck? Let the cards fall where they may. What's my inventory? We begin. You can always is that me? View your cards here. My armor is light, defensive armor. I have a hard health, 20 food. I have a rusty axe, 20 damage. I don't know what these mean by comparison. Here is all you have gained. No upgrades. Okay. Nothing. Alright, so I guess we'll figure out what it all means in a bit. Mr. Lionel. I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at a local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I'll conjure up your heart's desires with this wizarding wand of my own creation. All right. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then patiently waiting, then pa then sits patiently waiting for your answer. Give him the bread from your plate. Give him twenty gold. I don't have twenty gold. Ask what he needs, and then ignore him. I will give him the bread. He considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground, and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean! He smiles, a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one shield card. Okay, yeah, shield. Shield provide passive damage mitigation. Press Y button to deflect projectiles. I'm using a Wii U Pro controller, so controls are a bit different than your traditional Xbox. Shields so with this trait allow the hero to reflect projectiles back at the attacker that must be performed with precision timing as, a, as the projectile draws near. Press Y to reflect projectiles. Look for the green indicator. Alright, uh, weapons with this trait, the counter. Look for green indicator, press Y to counter. Gotcha. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. <laughs> then, before you can stop him, with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. Okay. The Maiden. Fair Merith. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. One day, in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Uh... Girl... Immortality. As you wish, Merith mutters and waves her hand. A light shines from your skin. The dealer, the dealer draws two... Draws you two max health gain cards. Okay. 5 HP. extra health. But it is only a Five momentary HP. respite. Remember, mortal. That bold heroes make for great ballads, but survivors think twice before meddling in the affairs of gobs and monsters. 
All right, next nice card. Twisted Canyon, huh? That first moment, that glinting weapon, the call to action, to adventure. You see a weapon. There is nothing like it. <laughs> you see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, shine lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. I'm gonna climb down and get that weapon, bro. Okay, so I have three chances of success and one at failure. Choose from these. Oh, crike. Uh, only I didn't say crike. Okay. Well, I've had 75% chance of getting it right. So, there we go. We got a weapon. What do we got? Climb down to retrieve the weapon very carefully. You make your way to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve the ancient weapon. Or you retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one card. Oh, I got a normal axe. What do you know? Uh, yeah, I'll equip that. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. Okay, let's go back. Stairs to the next floor, I assume. More, seeking the heart of it all. Okay. You discovered the exit to the area. I'm taking the stairs, bro. Your journey is well begun. Squire. This I is got what achievement. I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. Traveling mage. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. In a shady grove off the beaten path, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Mages sell only specific items that they've discovered in faraway lands. Their prices can be high, but they also pay well for anything that catches their interest. I approached the shop. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Sorry, I have much to offer you! I'm wondering why you've been collecting all that gold. You now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. What happened to my older axe? Didn't I have another axe? I can't... I can't afford anything. I, I can't buy anything. I'm like, this... this stinks. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave the shop. I can't buy Jack! And I don't... Uh, even Jack, you know? That's just out of my price range. Poor Jack. Ooh, you dirty, dirty boy. Anyway! <laughs> moving on. Guess the old axe is gone. Ambush! What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? <sighs> Maybe it would give me the ability to ambush? You didn't tell me, bro! A slight rustling behind you is all the warning that you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. Three of dust. Alright. That looks pretty neat. Okay, there I am with my shield and my axe. A card game come to life. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Right. Well, pretty easy. Dodge, roll, stun, counter, attack. Very, uh, Arkham style. There we go. Yeah, very Batman-esque with the combat style. Very simple. Um, I didn't really even move my control stick. <laughs> Alright. While searching the area for anything worthwhile, you realize that one of your opponents is pretending to be dead. I'm gonna kill him! Alright, so I have a 75% chance of success. That ain't bad. There we go. A dead as a doornail. A quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. The dealer draws you three gang cards. Draw one. I'm Draw sure one you're grateful one. for that. Eh. Really? Is that what you're going to do? All right. So food. Fortune. So I gain three gold. That's pretty neat. A winding trail. An ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Is it really an ambush? It just says a winding trail. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. Three of dust. Weapons bristle from the trees around you, their wielder's face is obscured by the overgrowth. Give us your gold to die! <laughs> Dude! Ah! My 
my battle cry. I promise. I'll skip this. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Is that it? That's it. He's dead. Bandits are kill. They didn't stand much of a chance, huh? I'm pretty beefy. So look at me, I've been working out. Alright, search the bodies for loot. I draw through gain cards. Alright, armory. What do we got? Is this shield. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. No, I'm fine. Alright, yeah, food. And more food. Ten food! Oh, well, some traveling I can do, huh? The Jack of Dust. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Alright. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Hmm. It said this token. That's those. Those are three tokens. So just said these tokens, plural. But I understand there's a token on the Jack of Dust, or the Four of Dust. Okay. What is this? Kingdom Hearts. All right. Powerful and blockable attacks, huh? Am I supposed to feel threatened? Some huh? enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way, or stop them with your own counter attack. Oh, come on. Alright, so I can't stop them. Hmm. Darn it. Come on. Don't do that to me ever again. Mm. Yeah, that's what I need to be doing. Dang it. Come on, man. Okay. That was kind of tough. Uh, I got hit far more than I should have. But... The first time playing this, I don't look pretty. I mean, in real life, I'm quite into the dapper. With him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. Poor One dude. champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet, we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. If you fall at the first hurdle, none reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Pack of Skulls, Dead King's Hall, Local Peasant, Devil's Choice, River, Captain of the Guards. If I'm not mistaken, this is a deck building game of sorts. So as I get stronger, so does he. Medium armor. Chains of Rage. Mercenary contract. Medium armor. Fortune's breath. Fortitude's breath. And desperate measures. And finally... Is this his cards? Alright, I will give you new challenges. Bandit attack. Maze of traps. And goblins. Shall we deal again? That was pretty cool! I think we will deal again on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. It helps me out a great deal. And subscribe if you want to see more of this series in the future. I think this is something I could really get into. You know, even if this doesn't get a ton of support, I think this is something I'll still put out. If you have any hints, tips, tricks, or suggestions, please leave it in the comments down below. And I will see you next time.